Okay, so you, you, yeah, do you, you have partners in this in this business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, in my entertainment business, I knew the, I saw the value of associating brands with celebrities. Yeah. Because we work, I did that. All got celebrity endorsements. Absolutely. So one of my family friends is Idris Elba. So Idris is known since I was a young child. Him and my mum are very good friends because we grew up in East London. Okay. So obviously, well, being, being from a small community of Sierra Leone, if someone lives close to you. They tend to gravitate towards each other. Right, absolutely. So Idris has known me from, from, since from a young age. So, and this is funny how things work. Um, on my travels in my entertainment business, I would bump into him. Right. So I'd be in Dubai. I think he was filming Star Trek and I bumped into him at a club. And I was in New York and London. I bumped into him yeah. at, at an event or a club. Yeah. So we kind of kept in contact, said hello, gave me his number. <clears throat> and Idris is very passionate about Africa. Yeah. And unfortunately, his father passed away a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And he was made a promise to his father and grandfather that he would return to Sierra Leone to do something like amazing. Yeah. So I just messaged him out of the blue. I said, you just, I've yeah. got this um, idea. Yeah. I would love you to partner with me. You know? And he was like, he messaged me back saying, okay. So I said, can you, can you meet up? Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, I'm a bit busy because his schedule is crazy. Sure. But I'll give you a message. I send you a message. I didn't think anything of it. I thought he's not going to call me. I was like, no, I was, I was lying down. Normally my phone's on silent. Sure. But for some reason, my phone was on loud one morning. And my phone started ringing. It's Idris. I took a deep breath. Because this was probably the most important 30 minutes of my life. Right. I've got to pitch something to him. Right. For him to say, okay. Yeah. I picked up the phone, I kind of gave him a brief overview. And he was like, so I think this sounds insane, I don't know more. Mm. So a series of meetings over the course of two years, because his schedule was very crazy and I was traveling back and forth to Sierra Leone. Right. And don't forget, this is why I really appreciate his involvement and him actually just believing in someone. And just for, just for other people as well, if you're successful, it doesn't matter how successful you are, people that might not be on your level as you've seen, never discount them. I read something that yeah. a guy said that he regrets because he taken advice, not taking advice from someone else that he thought wasn't successful as him. Mm. You know, so I had no right. I've got no right pitching to yourself. I'm not an architect, I'm not super, <laughs> right. I'm not a multi-millionaire, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. I said a great idea. I said, listen, this is what I want to do. And he said, you know, so I thought, okay. And he trusted me. Right. You know, so two years, we, we said to me, Shaka, cool, I'm with you. And then we managed to get a meeting with the president and the government. This is where it really gets, gets political. My grandfather was the founder of the APC party. Yeah. And they were in power for 10 years, I think. They left 2018. Yeah. Yeah. And so this new government, SLPP. So anyone who knows African politics is very tribal, divided. People, people warn me, but I don't care. I'm not into politics. I'm an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. I'm a Sierra Leonean, and I'm loyal to my government all day. Right. And my allegiance is too Sierra Leone. Right. You know? Yeah. So I, I don't really, I really, really start focus. Yeah. So we approach this government, no issues, no problems. You know, it just overcame to Sierra Leone. Our president, and he was very welcoming. Right. You know, I've had no issues at all. You know, so it's very important for us Sierra Leoneans as well to be united. Yes. Because with that unity, there's no progression. Mm -hmm. You know? So I'm, so I'm hoping as well, internally, for Sierra Leone, this project, because of the nature of just my heritage, even though I'm not political, but just because my name is political. Sure. And this kind of government, it kind of will help unify the country in a certain way. You know? Yeah, I like that. So I'm praying. The president said, we love this idea. You know, let's work on it. So negotiating for a few years and finally reached an agreement. And I think projects moving forward. So you still, you should start hearing about it now. And it'll be a lot harder for him to get in an interview. I know, <laughs> that's like I got to get it now. In the near future. Yeah. But yeah, so it's just a case of, listen, no, no dream is too big. Absolutely. This is one of the things where people said to me, oh, you're crazy. This is, but if you ask my friends who know me, they will say to me, oh, they'll be like, yeah, this is a Siaka kind of idea, <laughs> you know? Build a city. Yeah, build a city. Yeah. You know? So there's no, no dream is too big. And also, it doesn't matter how small your dream is, you know, in the spiritual world, it's all the same. Yeah. You know, so you, you can want to build a city or you can want to help children, you can do, it's, 
don't feel like, oh, because you guys this and I do that. There's no difference. Yeah. Honestly, there's no difference. All right, guys, thanks for watching that clip from the Authentic African YouTube channel. If you want to see the full video, click up here. If you want to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe by clicking this link right here. And if you want to see anything more from the channel, then you want to click down here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you all in the next video.